to pay for state specs. So the asphalt place is shut down. Normally shut down. We've had some mild winters where they've gone into the summer. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Does anybody have any questions on the schedule that I did I prepared for last month? Oh, again, I do appreciate that. No problem. It's a lot easier. And and I did give that to um, Mike Baumgartner, who's active in the chamber. Um, sat down with him, explained everything to him, what we're doing, and he had volunteers to go walk the affected businesses and share that same information with them. So we're trying to work with the chamber to get that done. Deal. Anything else? Mr. Pauly, a broken the record, came in here and asked if we were going to meet him tonight. Uh, he had some, another engagement he needed to go to, and I told him that I thought Gary could handle it well, and thought, well, I have an appearance from uh, Mr. Pauly. Mr. Burkhardt. Uh, Mr. Burkhardt, excuse me. Yeah, I got fired up. I got confused. Mr. Burkhardt, we're going to a joke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, next thing that's on here, it's something that uh, we worked on pretty hot and heavy the past uh, <coughs> uh, 10 days, two weeks, is the uh, renewal on the uh, ban. Um, we've, uh, I think everybody's received uh, copies of paperwork on that. I think I forwarded everything to everybody. Um, basically, we're going to end up uh, renewing that ban uh, with the link that the Blue River Bank I believe in Shelbyville. Uh, was it yet? I believe it's Blue River. It's being done through Raymond James. They were they handled it, but I think they placed it with Blue River. That is, is what I heard. I don't know if it's in writing or not though, but that's what I heard. <coughs> um, the interest rate is is uh, I think great. One point seven five. We were paying uh, three point five zero, if I'm not mistaken. Before um, we will have a placement fee of uh, forty nine hundred and sixty dollars, which is less than what uh, was quoted for us before the preceding holder of the note. Um, uh, John Julian did some uh, quick. Uh, Figuring for us, we we're going to save a couple of sheets, about ten thousand uh, dollars uh, with the reduced interest rate, uh, and that's the only drawback to it that I see is that uh, we were on a draw note before and we're not now, so we're going to take the full amount, uh, pay off Indiana Bank with whatever we owe them, um, and the rest of it. We'll go into our account. We can invest that <coughs> June to get a one percent rate. Or she can invest that. It doesn't sound like much, but it's the market that it's up down. So how much are they drawing? Uh, the, the total note, I believe, would be one eight, one point eight million. One eight. One point eight, I believe, was what it was. Um, I said on that proposal that I got one six. Yeah, I got one six. Was it one six? I was thinking we, we talked about one eight, one six, six, one six. And we got so we're going to have a balance. We're going we're to get about an eight hundred thousand dollars. Then, is that right? When we're done. Yeah, you're you're going to you're actually going to finance the full amount as opposed to previously. One eight six. six I'm sorry. Like we had talked about that before. Things. The way I used to do it was that normal. Uh, we, we questioned previously whether we could do it on a draw schedule. They were allowing you to do it, but I think most of these companies that do the bond anticipatory notes finance the entire thing because it's, it's not beneficial for them to uh, to just to just put on reserve the full amount of and allow you to only draw down uh, select or, or, or less uh, than what's fully so um, I, I think that's what, I think, again, going to what Ken was saying, that's the cause that you are going to have to finance the full round. 
can't pay on. Um, I actually don't know the answer. I don't know either. Previously, you had the 90 day period where you could pay, you, you could, could not pay. But yeah, you could not, but after the 90 days uh, went away, you could. Um, and I don't know the answer to that. The issue here was, I think it was John Julian's thinking, was that you're going to have, you're going to know pretty soon what the extent of your uh, debt is pursuant to this project. And when all of this was undertaken previously, there were a lot of uh, unknowns and you know, intangibles with the federal funding and those sorts of things. And, and, the, and then again, the uh, construction bids came in significantly lower than what was originally expected to the engineer's estimate. So you bought time to get a clearer picture as to what the total cost of the project's going to be. And, and I think it's even remarked in John's letter that uh, there's, a, there's a very good chance that this board may forego any kind of bonding. Right. Long-term bonding. Right. So, uh, right. so this has been a, a really, I, mean, I think John Julian, as your financier, is saying this has been a, a pretty strong way to go for this board. I wonder what we would get, say, is this going to be for a year? I, I was looking at <coughs> it, I believe it is a year. And his proposal option one was for 175, and then that was for a year. Mm -hmm. But let's say at the end of a the year, then we would we'll have to seek some other kind of the project should be done at that point, and we would some kind of a note somewhere. If we, I'm looking at part of this and, and uh, uh, the maturity option on, on option one is August 27, 2011. Right. Interest rate on that's 1.75, and then we went to option two, which would be a maturity date in August 27, 2012, uh, would be 2.50. Uh, the maximum place could be $5,000. Uh, so I guess if we if we get down to the wire, uh, and I guess what you're asking for. I just wondered what kind of a note we'll have. If, if we get down If we don't do the bonding, then we'll have to get some type of. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you will. Um, I think what they're trying to ascertain is what this pulls in of these next several uh, draws. Where our vows would be yeah. at that point. You know, what should be, could be <coughs> under a million easily. And, and so then, you know, then the, question, the question becomes how realistic is the city? Oh, we wouldn't want to do a bond. Well, you won't want to do a bond, but. but what kind of finance? Yeah, what can we get? Yeah, yeah. That, that should I, be a good problem to have. Yeah, I, I think I think John is more than happy to kind of give you some ideas as to what type of, type of short. Really, <coughs> and, and frankly, because you're not going to do a bond, it's going to be short-term financing. So there's a couple different avenues that are out there that I think John will be able to help you out with. Well, we really won't know any of that until we get closer to right. a year down the line, right? Now, in this renewal, is there going to be any legal fees to Barnes and Thornburg and Humball like there were last time? Well, that was significant. Yeah, I, uh, <coughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, to, to be frank. Uh, I, I've not talked with, uh, with Rick about that. If in the rollover, there was still going to be Hoping there won't be. I mean, that was like forty some thousand bucks. Yeah, I don't remember what the total was. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Twenty-one thousand seven fifty to unmow and twenty-two thousand six eighty-six to Barnes and Thornburg for that band. I, I would hope that there wouldn't be any. Again, I think because I think it's an extension, there's a chance that there may not be, but I, I don't want to say that. I mean, Can somebody I, look into that? Yeah, I, I, I did. I, I made sure that we weren't going to pay twenty-one and twenty-two thousand dollars a year again to Bars and Thornburg and Umbaugh for this. It probably be a fourth of that or less. Yeah, I mean, they, they did put work in to negotiate the bond. I they did negotiate the extension. So I mean, I, I guess I don't want to say there's no legal fees, but but. I would agree, and, and it's something the mayor I already did touch base yeah. with uh, John Julian on that. I would hope so. It looks like we won't do a bond anyhow, and we're yeah. going to do this again. Gee.